Describe them to me. Are you wearing anything? Sandals. You're wearing sandals? Mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking down at your feet, look at the ground and tell me, what are you standing on there? Are you standing on stone? Or hills? Or beach? Look around, what do you sense? It's stone. It's stone. And I want you to be an observer of yourself and describe to me what you're wearing. What do you look like? What kind of clothes are you wearing? Linen. Linen. Mm -hmm. And tell me, do you sense that you are female or male? Male. You're male. Uh -huh. And how old do you feel? Just see a number come to your mind. Twelve. You're twelve years old. Uh -huh. What do people call you in that life? James. 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 Joseph. Good evening, Joseph. Thank you for coming and sharing this life with us. Joseph, what I want you to do is to just connect now with that memory there of that life. And as you're there studying those sandals on that stone floor, Tell me, are you inside or are you outside, Joseph? Outside. You're outside? Uh-huh. And is it day or night? Day. It's daytime. Joseph, what do you imagine is happening around you there? Do you feel alone? Or are you with others? I'm in the marketplace. You're in a marketplace? Uh-huh. And what are you doing in that market, Joseph? Just see yourself there. Connect with that life and tell me, why are you at the market, Joseph? I'm selling sheep. You're selling sheep? Mm. Very good. Are you a shepherd? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is this a good life for you, Joseph? Oh, yeah, I'm comfortable. You're comfortable. Mm -hmm. And do you have a master there, or are they your own sheep? No. They're yours. Mm -hmm. And do you have a f any family in that life? Yeah. So describe your family to me. Do you have parents or siblings? I have a sister. You have a sister? What's your sister's name, Joseph? Sarah. Sarah. Mm -hmm. And how old is Sarah now? Sixteen. She's sixteen. Mm -hmm. So do you not have any parents? My dad. Your dad? Mm. Mm hmm Very good. So Joseph, you're going to know the country of that life. What country are you in there? Italy. You're in Italy. Mm -hmm. And in a moment I'm going to tap you on the forehead. And when I tap you on the forehead, you'll see some numbers come to mind and that will be the year that you lived in Italy. So when you're ready, three, two and one. What year is it there, Joseph? 1237. Mm -hmm. So do you have a, a mother as well there, Joseph? No. No mother. Mm -hmm. So what happened to your mother? She died. She died. Mm -hmm. So I want you to look at your sister there and describe her to me. What colour is her hair? It's dark. Uh -huh. And her eyes, look into her eyes. What colour are they? Blue. Blue. 
and knowing that the eyes are the windows to the soul. Joseph, I want you to really focus your intention on Sarah's eyes there and go deep and deep into those eyes, telepathically communicating. And tell me, do you sense that Sarah has worked with you before today in this life? Is she around today? Yeah. Who is she? And my sister. She's your sister today. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your father. What kind of relationship do you have with your father there? Just feel the emotion. He scares me sometimes. He scares you? Mm-hmm. So look into his eyes as you did with your sister. See that soul deep within, mind to mind and soul to soul communicating. And tell me, is your father, or has your father been in this life today? Yeah. Who is he? Now what I want you to do, Joseph, now I've got all that information. I want us to go forward in the same timeline. So in the same life, to another important part when something significant is happening. So when you're ready, just close that scene now. And feel yourself drifting and floating through time and space. I want to count from three to one. And when I get to one, you're going to be at that next significant time. So when you're ready, three. Drifting, floating forward now. Two and one. Be there now. How old are you now, Joseph? 35. You're 35 years old. Very good. So describe to me, are you in the same place, Joseph? Mm, mountains. You're in the mountains. Uh -huh. Do you sense that you're on your own or you're with others? Just connect with that energy. With others. With others. What are you doing in the mountains there, Joseph? Going to church. You're going to church? Mm. Mm -hmm. So... Tell me what's happening then. Just see the scene unfold in front of you now. Tell me more. I'm getting married. You're getting married? Wonderful. So who is the bride? What is her name? Hiya. What do you call her there? Look into her eyes and tell me, does she work with you today in this life? Yeah. Who is she? So do you still live in the same place that you were before, Joseph, or have you moved? No, I'm still here. You're still there. And do you still tend to sheep? I have a farm. You've got a farm. Very good. Mm -hmm. So what kind of things do you do on this farm, Joseph? So you've got animals. 
Mm -hmm. And do you feel that this is a happy marriage? Yeah. Very good. Very good. What I want you to do now is I want you to close that scene. Now that I've got that information. And I want you to go forward in the same life. And I want you to take me to the last day of your life. You're just an observer, viewing it from afar. No pain, fear or emotion. So when you're ready, close that scene now. And just allow your mind to go forward on that life, drifting and floating. I am going to count from three to one. When I get to one, you're going to be at the last day of that life. So when you're ready, three, drifting to the last day now. Two, nearly there, and one. Be there now. How old are you there, Joseph? 74. You're 74 years old. Mm -hmm. And do you feel that you're on your own, or... Are there others around? There's others. There's others? Mm hmm Describe those others to me. My sons. Your son? Sons, yeah. Your sons? Mm hmm How many sons do you have, Joseph? Two. Mm hmm Look at them and tell me. You'll know be from their energy and their essence. Are those sons in this life today? Yeah. Who are they? My dad. Mm-hmm. And who's the other one? David. Mm-hmm. So now you're at your last day. It's normal that someone or something comes to collect you, to take you home. So as I continue to talk to you, I just want you to look around and get a sense now. Just draw on your senses as I continue to talk to you. And tell me, is there anyone or anything that has come to collect you, to take you home? Yeah. Who's come? As you can telepathically communicate with her, tell me, what is it that she's saying to you? What message do you have? It's time to leave her behind. Mm -hmm. So take her hand then, Joseph. And allow her to take you back up to spirit. And as you take her hand, just feel yourself drifting up and up and up and up and up. Drifting and floating, shedding off that past life now. As you become more and more the soul energy that you are, going higher and higher. Knowing that your mother is taking you towards your soul group now. You just feel yourself getting closer and closer towards your group now. Three two and one be there now so your mother has brought you to this group describe this group to me are there a few souls there or are there hundreds many 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 souls mm -hmm. what do they look like are they tall short bright nobody nobody Mm -hmm. They're colours. They're just colours. And do the different colours mean anything? And green. Mm -hmm. And this group that you're in, what kind of group is it? What do you learn with this group, Joseph? We reflect. 
reflection. Mm -hmm. So as you're looking round at your group there, I want you to glance around the group and see if there's one particular soul that you're more affiliated to than the rest. So as I continue to talk to you, just glance your eyes across that space now, going from soul to soul. And is there a soul that you're more affiliated to? Mm. Is it male or female? Female. Female. Mm. Ask them to step forward. And as you can communicate with them, what message do they give you? Love is in the light. The light. Very good. Huh? Ask her, what does your group do? What do you work on when you're up there with the rest of the souls? Progression. Progression. Mm -hmm. I want you to ask this female soul, are they working with you down on this on this plane too? Or are they here in another body? here with you. Very good. Can you ask, do we have, do we have permission to speak with Nana Flo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So just ask Nana Flo now to step forward. And as you do, I want you to connect with her energy and feel her presence now. And step a little bit closer to Nana Flo. And as you do, you can truly read her mind and understand her messages. What is it that she says to you? Nana Flo, what kind of things would be best suited for her? If Nana Mo says that she needs to take a rest, what kind of rest would do her good here? Is it by the water, or is it in the trees? What would do you good? In the countryside. In the countryside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I ask, is Nana Mo one of her guides? Nana Flo? Yeah. She's also a guide. Uh -huh. I thought she was. Well, thank Nana Mo, Nana Flo, for coming forward and providing us that message. But now I'd like to be able to connect with your inner self, your higher self, your subconscious mind. So as we just step away from that scene now, and as you take a nice deep breath, I just want you to step away from your body and allow your inner self your subconscious mind to come and use your voice today. Very good. And as I continue now with your higher self, tell me, do you feel that your higher self has a female or male energy? No. It's male. Mm -hmm. 
Does this male energy have a name? What can I call it? Daka. Daka. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Daka. Tell me how many lives have you had with my client? Many, many. Many lives? Yeah. yeah. What is it that you're working on with her? The heart. Uh -huh. And how is she doing with that heart? Well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Needs to let things go. Let things go. Mm -hmm. Well, Daka, I'd like to do a body scan today to see if the, she's holding any memories that she no longer needs or any attachments or anything that is being absorbed into her body. So let's start by doing a scan, a bit like an x-ray, starting at the top of the head. And as you go down now, knowing that you've been with her for many lifetimes and you've seen the stories and the emotions that she holds, just go from the forehead, down the face now, into the jaw, down the neck. That's right down the torso, into the heart area. And then down into that tummy area. Nice and steady going from hip to hip. And all the way down the thighs, to the knees, to the ankles, to the toes, and back up again. So tell me, Decca, what part of the body can we work on today? Right hip. The right hip. Daka, go into that right hip now. And as you're connecting with that right hip, tell me how does it feel? Is it hot? Is it heavy? How does it feel? Hot. Hot. Mm -hmm. So Daka, what's going on with that hip there? Is it a memory from this life or is it from a previous life? An old one. An old life? Mm -hmm. Well, what I want to do is I want to bring that memory up to the throat so that we can work with it today. So I'm going to come over to your right hip and I'm going to connect there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring that up to the throat so we can find out what's going on today. So when you're ready, I'm going to bring it up, 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 up. Good evening. Are you male or female? I'm female. You're female. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your life. What happened? It's hard. You had a hard life? Mm. So tell me, why are you hiding in the hip there? Did you not want to go back to spirit? I can't find it. You can't find it? So tell me about your life. How did you pass in that life as that female? I was throttled. You were throttled? Mm -hmm. Who throttled you? Mm -hmm. Did you know this man? So why hold that energy in the hip? What symptoms is it causing my client in this life? Aching. So that's not really doing her any good, is it? No. So before we go, before you leave this body now, 
need to go into that hip and start drawing out all your memories that you've stored in there. Go and collect your luggage. See yourself now going in there. That's right, going deep into those roots. Or into that hip, around the bone, through the nerves and the tissues. And begin collecting all your energy so that you can go back up to spirit. And are you ready to leave now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to offer you now up to spirit and may the light of the universe always accompany you. And what can we replace in that hip area now to make it stronger? Is there a word or a colour? Purple. Purple. Just see now that spiritual colour purple coming down, just like a rainbow, all the way down towards that hip. See that lovely crystal amethyst rainbow now pouring in all that love and that strength from spirit into that hip, sealing it, making it strong again and confident. Very good. So Decker, have a look around the body and tell me, is there anywhere else in the body we can work with today? Take a look in that tummy area. I want you to go and connect with that tummy area, Dhaka. And tell me, how is the energy in this area? How do you feel when you're there? Sad. Sad? Mm -hmm. So tell me, Decker, what is going on in this tummy area? Is this is this a symptom of today, or is it a past life memory? Just connect with that that thought and that theme there. Is it from this life, or is it from a previous life? Yes. It's from this one. Mm -hmm. Does she need to keep hold of that sadness? No. Mm -hmm. So what is it causing her to keep hold of this sadness? What happens? What symptoms does it cause? Pain. Pain. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Dekka, is she ready to release that pain today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does she understand? that she can forgive herself for all that sadness, but it's not working. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm going to place my hand here now. Daka, go in there and start gathering all that pain, those memories, that sadness, those thoughts. Let's take them home and heal them. Just bring them up into my hand. That's right, gather them all up. All those memories that don't really serve her anymore. She's had the lesson. She needs to move on. Just give me all those memories. Have I got them in my hand now? Yeah. And I'm going to take those away from you and offer them up to spirit. Dekka, what could we replace in the tummy area to help heal? Is it a word or a colour? Love. Love. So as I place my hand here now, I want you to see a rainbow of pink and green and see these two colours now just coming down into your tummy area, almost like a hose pouring into your tummy area, just replenishing all those nooks and crevices going deep into the roots healing all those memories that no longer serve you. Just feel it filling up now. Balancing your abdomen now. Daka, how does her tummy look now? Bright. 
brighter. Brighter, very good. Just keep pouring more and more and more. And the more I talk, the more you need, the more you shall have. Just keep pouring it in, pouring it in, until her tummy is completely full, bursting with energy and life, bringing it back to balance, knowing that it's capable of working at its own pace, and will now begin to restructure and balance. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, Dekka, take another look in the body and tell me, is there anywhere else we can work in the body, or shall I get to the questions? It's good. It's good? Very good. So, I just want to ask you some questions then. Sometimes when my client meditates, she hears Hamashi. Hamashi. As I say that word Hamashi, what does it relate to? Abundance. Abundance. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And is this a message that she has abundance? Yeah, be grateful. Be grateful. A message to be grateful. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me why she's always concerned about money or the lack of money and working? What is it that makes her do that? Is it a past life memory or is it something else? It's the past. It's uh -huh. been loss. There's been loss in the past? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Describe to me that loss. What happened? Everything went. Everything went. Was she male or female in that life? Female. Female. Mm -hmm. So, what country was she in in that life? Germany. She was in Germany? Mm -hmm. And how did everything disappear from her? What happened? Take. Her family were taken. Mm -hmm. The house mm -hmm. just destroyed. The house destroyed. Who did this? The army. The army. What year was that? I'm going to tell you on the forehead. Three, two, one. What year? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. See the hole. Numbers. Is that 16, 18, 19? 19. 1937. Thank you. So this memory she doesn't really need because she leads a completely different life of abundance now. Daka, what would you like to say to my client? Does she need to keep worrying? No. So not to worry not any further. Mm -hmm. And so the, the messages during her meditation that she has abundance and to be grateful, is that them trying to calm her nerves about her concern about work, money and work? Yeah. I see. Can you tell me about this fear of water that she has? Because she can go in the sea, but she doesn't seem to be able to go into a pool. So, Daka, I want you to go right down to the source of that and tell me what's that about? I fell. You fell? Mm -hmm. Describe it to me. Tell me more. Is it in this life? How old were you? Three. You were three. Mm -hmm. And when you fell, were you in the water when you fell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you fell and you were frightened, 
Where did you hold that memory in your body? My ears. Your ears? Mm. Uh huh. Okay. And why are you holding it in your ears? I'm just going to hold your ears now. And as that little child, that three-year-old child, it must have been a pretty scary time for you when you fell. I just want you to give me now that memory. Just pass it on to me and put it into my hand, knowing that you survived that shock. And you're strong enough now to be able to look after yourself in water and you're going to feel totally confident and safe and stable. Have I got all that memory now from your ears? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to offer and take that away. So let's just put in here now all the comfort and the words from Spirit now. I'm down to tell you that you're more than capable of being in this water now without fear because you're strong enough to understand that was just a, a little memory that you had there that was filed in the wrong place because all children fall over but now it's gone you're going to be able to Go into the water and feel happy and confident and joyful. And I'm going to tap on the head and pull that in. So can you tell me about her guides? How many guides does she have? Seven. Seven guides? Mm -hmm. Very good. And these guides, describe them to me. Nana Flo is one. Mm -hmm. So we have Nana Flo. Who else do we have? The sailor. The sailor. Mm -hmm. Why a sailor? What does he bring to you? Kindness. For guidance. Mm -hmm. And look at the others. What are their strengths for you today? Oh, really? Bravery. Warrior and bravery. Mm -hmm. And how does she know when they're connecting to her? What kind of things happen? How do they alert her? Feels them. She feels them. Very good. Mm -hmm. And if they could give her a message today, what would that message be? They are enough. They are enough. Mm -hmm. I want to ask about these meditations that she has. Um, during these meditations, she sees boats, different boats at different times. What's the specific reason for meditation and boats? She knows the way. Oh, right. She knows the way. Yeah. So whereabouts are you leading her to then? Success mm -hmm. in her business. Success in her business. Mm -hmm. Is it time for her to set that business up? She's doing it now. Uh huh. I'll be sure to tell her. Now, can you tell me, Decker, go into that tummy area and tell me how does it look now, all around the abdomen? Does it look any better than it was before? Yeah. 
a lot better. And also, explain to me what happened at Longley Castle. It was their home. It was her home. Mm -hmm. Was she male or female? She was female. She was female. And when did she live at Longley Castle? What years were they? See those numbers. Mm -hmm. 1922. 1922. What was her name? Eloise. Eloise. Uh-huh. And was she the wife or a child? The, the wife. She was the wife? Mm -hmm. And is that why she knew so much about that place when she stepped in for the first time? Yeah, she loved it. Mm -hmm. And was that a good life? Yeah. Can you tell me about this Reiki that she's um, been performing? And she's trained now for Reiki. Mm. What is she to do with it? Give it time. Give it time. Mm -hmm. Perfect her craft. Don't rush. Perfect her craft. So, Daka, we've come to the end of our questions. Is there anything that I should have asked or ought to have asked before we leave? Or are we done? Thank you very much. So Decca, with that, I'd like to thank you for working with me today. But now we've come to the end of our session. It's time for you to step back and say goodbye. As I call on you now to feel your energy coming back into the room.